a warm good morning to all welcome to our physics class today you will study about matter and the three states of matter matter meaning and its composition there are various materials around us such as wood sugar stone iron common salt water oil petrol nitrogen carbon dioxide oxygen water vapor the following two properties are common to all these materials first one all materials take up some space the amount of space occupied by a body is called its volume all material bodies have some mass mass is the measure of quantity of matter from this we conclude that anything that occupies space and has mass is called matter it is made up of tiny particles called atoms and molecules which cannot be seen by the human eyes as they are tiny and small states of matter we have three states of matter that is matter exists in three different states solid liquid and gas characteristics of solids solids have definite shape and volume the reason is that the particles are attached by a strong attractive forces called intermolecular force example iron sand copper etc since the intermolecular force is strong they are arranged closely and orderly so they do not diffuse into another solid and they are not compressible the molecules are very closely packed that is the intermolecular space are very less on heating solids it changes into liquids 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 have no definite shape but occupy definite space or volume the particles of liquid are less attracted with each other than solids example water milk fruit juice etc liquids take the shape of the vessel water takes the shape of the vessel when it is poured into it liquids diffuse into another liquid reason in liquids molecules are loosely packed and their molecules are in motion so they have the tendency to diffuse into another liquid on heating liquids it changes to gas gases the gases has no definite shape and occupies any space available to them these molecules show very less attraction between them example oxygen air nitrogen carbon dioxide etc in gas the force of attraction between the molecules are very weak and can be broken very easily therefore the molecules move freely gases have no free surface area the reason molecules escape from the open space it can be compressed easily they diffuse into another gas reason the molecules move very fast they can flow in all directions on cooling they change into liquid the reason is 
cooling increases the intermolecular force of attraction we have studied the characteristics of solids liquids and gases now we'll see the distinguishing properties of solids liquids and gases this for comparison solids liquids gases one shape and volume retains the same shape and volume retains the same volume but takes the shape of its container takes the shape of its container and the particles move around freely in the container has not same volume two intermolecular space very less more large three arrangement of molecules particles are arranged in a fixed way and do not move around particles are not arranged in a fixed way but always move around in random manner no fixed arrangement particles have a lot of energy to move around four energy low medium high five compressibility difficult nearly difficult easy six fluidity cannot flow flows from higher to lower level flows in all directions 7 intermolecular force of attraction maximum medium minimum 8 storage don't need container for storage cannot be stored without container needs closed container for storage here is your home assignment write the difference between solids liquids and gases thank you have a safe and wonderful day